another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to do a little different show today. We're going to get into uh, Jamel Charlo. Uh, definitely, without a doubt, has a better resume than what is with this mic? Than Triple G. Um, this is not a hot take. This is not something we. This is not a hot take. We'll we'll get into why. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, follow quick. Uh, follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Um, I guess the quick hits comes at you every day. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from Texas Boxing Scene goes to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all. Let's get into today's show. Um, Little Charlo is now Big Charlo. Little Charlo has a better resume than Triple G. And, and this, guys, this is not a hot take. Triple G's resume is borderline Hall of Fame. And I understand they built him up and he's a great middleweight. He's by a pound for pound. None of it's true. None of it's true. So he's got wins over Murata, Sergey Derevchenko, which he lost badly. V- Vanis Marta Rosen off a year and a half layoff. What was, how, how long was Marta Rosen out, out of the ring when he fought him? Two years. Uh, a loss to Jacobs, which is his best win, right? And a draw at Canelo. Then he's got wins over little guys like Kel Brook, David Lemieux. It's not a good resume. Martin Murray, I guess, is his next best win. It's not good. Matthew Macklin, Gabe Rosado. It's not good. I'm not saying he's not good. I'm saying his resume's not for if if you want to start. I'm making a list. It, it'll be up um on 3dboxingblog.com within the next couple of days. Uh, top 55 is the last 50 years. Spoiler alert: Triple G ain't on it. Um, J- Jamel Charlo is Jamel Charles ahead of Triple G, but Triple G ain't on the list. Um, Brian Castano is better than anyone Triple G has beaten. Castano got a draw at Laura, but he really won that fight. And Triple G is a scared of Laura. He's been a scared of him since he was at 54 threatening to come up. He was going to come up from 60 to 68 to fight him too. He's going to fight him at 60. And, and, and Triple G vacated his belt other than, you know, to avoid fighting Laura. Um Laura was going to go up to 60 to fight him when Laura was at 54. That was at 60. The WBA was going to consolidate. They were going to have Laura fight. Uh, the WBA was going to have Laura fight Triple G, and Triple G vacated instead of fighting Laura. So Triple G scared of Laura, and Cassano beat Laura. It's a draw, but Cassano won the fight. He's got to win over Jason Rosario, unified, unified champion. Uh, he's got to win over Tony Harrison. He's got to win over Austin Trout. He's got a win over Erickson Lubin. He's got a win over a prime bounce Water Rosen out of Water Rosen over two year layoff. And he's got a win over Gabe Rosado. It's a better resume. Right? I mean, it's a better resume. Jamel Chawla has a better resume than Triple G, and this is not a hot take. This is not a debate. Triple G's best wins are a draw with Canelo and a highway robbery win over Danny Jacobs, which he lost. Those are his best wins. After that, you got Matthew back. Sarah J. Devershank, a fight he lost. Murata. These are the best names on his resume. A little guy in Kelbrook. Willie Monroe. I mean, it's just, you know, B-level fighters. And it's not a bad resume for, you know, if, if, if we were looking for a guy, you know, say, you know, does this guy have a good resume? Yeah, it's not bad. 
It's a good resume. It's not like he ran the middleweight division. It's not like he beat all comers. It's not like he became undisputed. His best wins are a highway robbery victory over Danny Jacobs. And there's no one on it. He's never beaten anyone as good as Tony Harrison, ever. It's a reality of the matter. Triple G has never beaten anyone as good as Tony Harrison at his own size. Don't give me Kel Brook. He was two weight classes smaller. <laughs> I mean, you guys can laugh at it, but it's true. And I don't mean – look, if I got a vote to put Triple G in the Hall of Fame, he ain't getting it. He's going to get in. He's going to get in on the first ballot because HBO built him up and HBO made him a star and the media is stupid and most of the people who are you – know, the, the International Boxing Rise Association, whatever they call themselves, most of them are very stupid um, and they're going to vote for him because, you know, it's easier than thinking. Right? And when I say things like Melo uh, – Jam- I, I was having a Carmelo Anthony debate before. So. Jamel Charlo has a better record, a uh, better resume than, than Triple G. People scoff at me. And then I pull up the names. And it's true. Because the best win on, res- on Jacob's resume is a draw with Canelo. And then a highway robbery went over Jacob's. And then the rest of his wins aren't very good. Not that they're bad. They aren't very good. Murata. Matthew Macklin, Gabe Rosado, Charles got, got, got one of those. Mona Rosen, Charles got a win over him in his prime. Not on two-year layoff. Not taking the fight on like what, two weeks' notice because it was supposed to be Munguia. Right? They, they pulled the Munguia fight from him. Right? He was supposed to fight Munguia. And, 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 and I think it was California wouldn't commission the fight. I think it was California. It might have been Nevada. I think it was California. If he would have beaten Munguia, that would be the second best one on his resume. Actually, you know, if you take away a Jacobs fight, which he lost, it's the best one on his resume. Munguia. But this is what we're looking at. He can't even fight Andre. He won't fight anybody. He ducked Laura. Right? Wouldn't fight Sergio Martinez back in the day. But this is the guy you love. He wouldn't fight, he wouldn't go to 68 by Andre Ward. Wouldn't fight any of these guys. Wouldn't fight Cotto at 60. Give me Dominic Wade. Let's do it. I I, I never I, I didn't get like I'm just like a thinker. Like I didn't get this. Like when when when, when he you know when he had that run on HBO when he's beating Martin Murray, beating Marco Antonio Rubio. Uh, Daniel Gill, uh, uh, who else was on that list? David Lemieux. You know, I was supposed to be very impressed with all of this, and I wasn't. Right, like, I saw it then. Like, you know, the, the hype job that they built there um, was like Edgar Belanga. It was built by Top Rank, but you know, HBO did a better job with it than than, than ESPN Top Rank did. They did a great job. Y- y- y'all listen to me. Y- are, are, are scratching your head, saying, "Oh, Triple G doesn't. Uh, Triple G has a better resume than, than than Little Charlo." And then we pull it up, and he doesn't. But, but Charlo don't find anybody, right? And and but but he got a better resume than Triple G. Triple G's never beaten anyone as good as Tony Harrison. <laughs> He's never beaten anyone as good as Austin Trout. You know, he, like Charles got a win over Charles Hatley. Like, like Charles got a win over Charles Hatley. Charles Hatley is the type of guy Triple G fought for five years in a row. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts again. And go, go check out Thirty Boxing Blog within the next dot com in the next couple of days. We're gonna have that list of top fifty five the last fifty years up. Um, I'm gonna go over the, the right criteria and and um, why they're ranked the way that they are. Um. Please follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. 
a quick hits come to you every day, twice uh, every day, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, it, it's uh, it's already May 4th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.